Before we get really creative in BandLab, it's important to understand the basic features and the basic skills that are needed to create a song. So let's begin by looking at the top row here and some of the icons and features that are there. Let's start with the transport controls. Here we have go to the beginning, play and go to the end. So if I click to go to the end, we're looking for this little cursor here, the marker, that's in bar one at the moment. If I click once, it goes to the end of the song so far, which is bar 17. If I go to the beginning, it's back to bar one. And if I press play, if I press it again, it's paused. Here, the red circle is where we start recording. So what I would do is create a new track. Let's say voice microphone. Up comes the track and you can see my voice there. And that means the microphone is picking up the audio, in this case, my voice. This track is selected. You can see it's white, which means that any recording will come out here on this track. So I'm going up to the red icon, start recording. Google lies, I realize, telling lies, no surprise. And I'll stop there. And now you can see there's a recording made. And that's the audio waveform that's appeared. Let's close the recording area here. Go up to this little icon in the right hand corner. And it disappears down here. Next on the transport bar is the display mode. At the moment, it's in minutes and seconds. So if I rewind, and we can see the seconds and milliseconds adding up. If I click once again, I could change to beats and measures. And now it records that we're on bar five, beat one, just here. Let's rewind and have a look at that. So we can choose whether we want beats and measures or minutes and seconds and we can change whenever it suits us. Here we can see the key that the current song is in. At the moment, A min stands for A minor, but we can change this. Let's have a listen first of all. I'm going to click on it and here we have all the keys available. Currently we're in A minor so let's try and make a dramatic difference so you can hear it. Let's go to D minor and we go to transpose the key. Would you like to adjust existing regions to D minor? Let's adjust them in other words yes. This takes a while to process but there it is. Let's see if we can hear it again. So we can hear a dramatic difference and that can be quite creative. To revert to the original, we can go over here and press the undo key. That's very quick. Let's have a listen. Next, we have the beats per minute or the speed or the tempo. Currently, 128 beats per minute. If I double click, I can type in a number. I'm 128 beats per minute at the moment. Let's change it to 100 so we can hear the difference. Press enter. Audio stretching. Would you like to adjust existing audio regions from 128 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute? In other words, we're going to slow it down and we're going to press adjust which means yes. Takes a little time. There it is. The 
Let's once again go over to the left hand corner and undo that. Back to 128. This time I'm going to speed it up. So double click. Let's put in 150 beats per minute. Enter or return. Adjust. Yes. There it is. Let's have a listen. I'm going to go to undo, back to where we started, 128 beats per minute.